So when we're speaking of, you know, connecting with energy, more we respecting, appreciating the opportunity, the choice, the commitment, the presence, the more naturally, effectively, this can happen. So to summarize a few things can be helpful, helpful for all of us. On one hand is the practice is challenging. And even the teaching can be challenging. Challenging for all of us, whether you're listening to this new concept, new idea, new way of thinking, the feeling, the new energy. First time or many times already, this is going to continue to be challenging. Because our mind is most stubborn. You may understand certain things, and yet the energetic information is go in, then out. Yeah. So what are we are here, you know, experience, I mean learning is allow the information go from all directions, go into the brain, not only into the brain, but go downward into your heart, go downward into your entire body. That's a completely different process. Then just the information go into the brain, then go to the notes, or going the information from here to other, of just processing the brain, or understanding enough. And you're thinking you got it. So the deeper indication of truly getting the teaching is the moment when the teacher is saying something, you're beyond your understanding, you're feeling it in your body. You're repeating that process again and again as celebration, as embodiment, as a gift. That's the true indication of getting it. It's not like the moment we say, oh, I understand this or not. Oh, I heard this or not. Oh, this is true or not. You're continuously in the mental domain. Not truly receiving the energetic information. And that's one of the reasons when I, most time, not always, <laughs> most time I speak, I'm not only passionate, but I use strong voice, I use strong vibration. So what I'm doing is not just giving the information. The information is all there in the Google, my dear. You go to the computer, all the information is there. The information is all in the book. You don't need to come to me. But information transformation is two different things, my dear. Understanding embodiment is two different things. So what I'm sharing with you is both the energy and the information vibrating from my body to you. So if we process just as the information, then from here out. If you engage in the whole body, I'm here, come, yeah, embracing it, hugging it, receiving it, really appreciating it, embodying it, then you're truly getting it. So that's going to be a process. So one of my way of doing it, yeah, you a stronger voice, you a stronger vibration, so you can feel a sense of intensity. No matter how your mind understands or not. Yeah. And that intensity, that vibration, is coming from the truth within me. It's not like words. The words is just expression of that deep truth. The truth is energetic. 
It's not about right, wrong, good, and bad. It's more about what we can open deeper, what we can connect deeper, what we can access deeper, what we can realize the full potential. That is a completely different process than the mental dis discrimination of good and bad, right, wrong, should or shouldn't. This process is, depends on where you're at. Yeah. Something is good for you to move to the next step may be limiting to another person. Make sense? But the direction of opening to the energy, opening to the truth of yourself, is moving you forward. It's not about right thing, wrong thing. The mind is always thinking in the term of right, wrong, good and bad, should or shouldn't. And the direct energetic experience is much, much more than that. 